Bill Leslie. Bill Leslie. Uh, anchor, news anchor at WRAL, is that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, WRAL morning news. In, May, and lunchtime too, I think. In Raleigh, North Carolina. He's a ginger. Uh, and he is like, the he's the man there at the local news situation in the Triangle. He's also uh, a folk artist. Yeah, he's a bluegrass man. I think he's a bluegrass man. And, um, we met him in full redneck. We get we we were guests on the on WRAL, and we met him because he invited us to come on the news program, like the like the noon news, in order to sing. I think it was the barbecue. It was song. The barbecue song. We basically went on as Rabbit Lightning for all intents and purposes before but it was Rabbit before Rabbit Lightning was Lightning Rabbit exist. Lightning. So it was just like two rednecks. Like I wore a tank top. And cut off jean shorts, and he and he he met us and took us around the news studio. Uh, the North Carolina news is like some of the most high quality, award winning news outfits in the country. Um, I'm not just bragging. It's it's kind of a weird phenomenon that North Carolina has really good, high production quality news and weather, like industry standard. That's the fact. Guy. And when you cuz when you go other places, you'd be like, "Oh, this news sucks." And he took us around and introduced us to everyone, like people in cubicles and like production people. We were in character the whole time. And we never we, we did, I don't know because we were in our costumes, we just we never broke character. And then we did the and news. And he segment. never acknowledged it. Yeah, Bill cuz he's Bill. Cuz he's cool, man. He is a professional. He is so cool. Two of the funniest guys on the internet have just wrapped up a cross-country tour for Alka-Seltzer called the Great American Road Trip. Rhett McLaughlin and Link Neal of Fuquay Arena have driven their speedy mobile to places like California, Chicago, Boston, New York, and other destinations in search of unique stories about food and indigestion. And their travels have generated weekly video skits and songs that are absolutely hilarious. And they join us now <laughs> to talk about their travels. Guys, good hey, to have you, you home. Hey, how are you? You're from Fuquay, right? Well, that's where we currently live. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell us about, uh, you grew up together, met each other in the first grade, and, and there was that, that uh, bond, and, and, and tell us about how it went from there. Oh yeah, we grew up in, uh... Bullies Creek and went to the elementary school there and in yep. first grade we both held in from recess for uh, writing well uh, nasty words on our desks. Uh oh. Yeah. But we formed an immediate bond which has lasted for over 20 years and uh, yeah this summer we've been spending a lot of time together. I'm, I'm about I'm glad the road trip is over because I'm tired of it but <laughs> it's the Alka-Seltzer Great American Road Trip. We've been going all over the place in search of good food and good times and boy right. we found it. All over creation just eating stuff going to food festivals. And, and you don't normally dress like, like this you, you dress depending on the the skit the story the song that you're doing right? Well that's a good point now mm -hmm. uh, we are Rent and Link, and we got a website where all of our videos are rentandlink.com. But uh, usually we play characters. This is this is the real us. Okay, okay. Uh, this is the real us. We <laughs> usually play characters and look a little bit different. We have a, some more sophisticated uh, personas. Gotcha. We call Rent and Link. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, you remind me a little bit of Steve Martin early on in his career. Uh, was he an influence in your comedy or? Well, I have seen him on television. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry Clower, maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of a Steve Martin, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have done this neat song that I heard about when we had this survey on WRL.com about barbecue, looking at all the different types of barbecue, and I uh, understand you got a really cool song that kind of uh, yeah. takes us across the country. Well, we were up in Branson, Missouri, and uh, we decided we need to tell these folks what Southern barbecue is all about. Ah. Oh, yeah, because you see, you know, of course, you know, and the viewers know that here, here across the South, the barbecue varies depending on where you go. But uh, we thought we'd write a song to educate them. <laughs> okay. Uh, just very quickly. And you can feel free to join in. I know you're a musician, Bill. <laughs> Rhett and Link in the barbecue song. In the mountains of Tennessee, they like to smoke this sauce. But over there in old Memphis, a dry rub rib is lost. Folks down in Georgia, they can't make up their mind. You can give it to them sweet or spicy, and they'll say that tastes all right. And you might.
I think the South Carolina are just a little bit off. Would you believe their barbecue's yellow with a mustard sauce? Pork shoulder is the cut of choice in Mississippi, Mississippi. And they pride themselves on barbecue that's totally vinegary. And Louisiana, them Cajuns, they like to spice it up. They like to spice it up. This is our review of barbecue in the southern United States. And when my life is through, bury me in barbecue. But make sure it's vinegar based, cause you know that slows the game. And it's a style from our home state of North Carolina. Goodness begin West Kentucky, that's a fancy name for sheep. But in the rest of the state, slice pork butt. It's what they eat. Arkansas's kind of like Georgia, a barbecue melting pot. And when you ain't looking them good old boys, I'll make that barbecue hot. Alabama's got the strangest thing I've seen in my barbecue days. Cause their barbecue sauce is white. It's made out of mayonnaise. And down in Texas, where the longhorn steer roam free, they love to smoke. Southern state. No, it ain't. This is our review of barbecue in the southern United States. And when my life is through, baby, me and barbecue. People not from the south think barbecue means cookout, and that's something they're wrong about. It's not a bird. And barbecue is not a grill. Barbecue is meat prepared in a very special way. That varies depending on where you go. That was our review of barbecue. All right, thank you. Brett and Link, awesome job, guys. Thank, thank you for having Very nice, us, very nice. Now, Leslie, you know we've got yes, like sir. over his, his first name is Bill. That's his you last can, you can call Oh, okay, right. Bill. Yes, sir. Bill, you know that we got 21 of these videos at speedisroadtrip.com. Barbecue song is just one of them. Uh, 20 other ones, <laughs> if I did the math correctly, uh, of all types all of right. travels across the nation. Yeah. Link, we'll put a link to that on our website. Oh, right. Is that a deal? Yes. Yeah. All right. Link well, to link. Very quickly, what are you doing next? We're looking for work. <laughs> okay. Just make it, just making more videos on the internet, and you know, hopefully everybody will watch them. And all right. And Bill, I just, we just wanted to, you know, say thank you to you for having us on television. This is amazing. It looks like a, a launch room for a space shuttle in here. <laughs> yeah. And as a token of appreciation, we wanted to give you some tube socks. Well, thank you so much. We're on a mission to sock the world. <laughs> Start right. with you. Knock your socks off, Linda Elizabeth. Back to you.